Good morning, guys. Good morning. Boy, the breeze is nice. Look at who's at here, little baby. Yeah, little big baby. Yeah, come here, big baby. Mama loves him, Mama loves. Ah, right, don't you fight me. See what I'm saying? <laughs> Good morning, guys. Good morning. Found my hat, cousin. Ah. Uh kids had it sitting up on the shelf and uh i was just like i couldn't couldn't find my a hat to save my life i didn't know where it was and then all of a sudden it was on the shelf and i was like yay i found my hat and so my foot is itching like something bit me now anyway um, y'all, <laughs> we're in a mess, and if you are a Democrat, and, uh, you're trying to deny this bullshit, uh, that we're in right now, whoa, that we're in right now, uh, you're absolutely positively crazy, um, we're in a mess. We're in a big pickle. And a lot of it is because we're sending billions and billions and billions of dollars to foreign countries. And uh, the stock market has just crashed or is in, on the verge of crashing. Um, globally, the stock market has crashed. Trying to see what that was on the table. Them are ants. Look at this. Where I sprayed. That's an ant pile. Literally an ant pile. So, um, crazy. They all piled together and I guess died. I guess some of them were actually trying to crawl over there and die. I'll wipe this table down today. It worked, though. <laughs> uh, anywho. Um, no. Uh, Tucker Carlson came out um, talking about it on his show, and it was really good, and he talked about how Christians are not worried about what's going on, you know, well, of course we're not. We know what's going on. I mean, you want to find out if the Bible exists. Well, this is showing proof of the existence of God in the Bible because all of this is predicted in the Bible that it's going to happen. Something hanging there. Um, but yeah, it's all predicted in the Word of God that the economy is going to crash. Uh, world economy is going to crash. The war, and it's being done on purpose. It's a strategic purpose that this is being done economically, worldly, because they want to crash the dollar. They're they're uh, causing all of these wars. Um, they're called. And by the way, we sat here and funded two hundred and fifty billion dollars somehow accidentally to the Taliban. How do you fucking, excuse my French, send $250 billion accidentally to the Taliban? No way. No way. I mean, you think we're stupid? You seriously think we're stupid? And if you're a Democrat and you're looking at this situation and thinking that Harris is going to fix any of it, she is not going to fix any of it. She's the cause of 90% of this. Joe Biden has not been running the country. You do realize this. It has been Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris has been running the country. It's obvious now. She's running it now. You know, I mean, yeah, he's president by name, but he's not president. Kamala Harris is president. And Josh Shapiro... 
uh, the governor of Pennsylvania came out, uh, you know, trying to, you know, they're saying that he's going to be the one of the shortlist VP picks for Kamala Harris. And it is found out about a lot more about this hush money. Um, so you're okay with your governor sexually harassing women, right? You're okay with him having, oh, well, it's just allegations. Oh, wait a minute. He's not Donald Trump. If he was a Republican and he was Donald Trump, then all of a sudden it would be believable. But because he's Josh Shapiro, uh, the, the, you know, lover boy of the Democrat Party of Pennsylvania, then all of a sudden it's not wrong. You know, he used taxpayer dollars, not his own money, taxpayer dollars to pay hush money to keep a A quiet that he sexually assaulted. I, you know, you can't make this shit up, but according to certain Democrats and liberals out there, he's the savior of the Democrat Party along with Kamala Harris. And um, Kamala Harris is not light. She is uh, lower in ratings than she's ever been politically. And um, some of these events that, that's been happening, um, she's paying actors and actresses to go out and literally fund uh, the events and pay for people to come and uh, be there and support her. So she can't get average American citizens like Trump. The arena that was in Georgia, that arena, she filled it up because a, you know, booty popper came out on the stage and did a little twerking and dancing. Um, and really, she didn't feel it all that much. But then you had President Trump come to the same event one week later and uh, he had, I, I don't know, over 60,000 people. The people outside couldn't come in. Um, he he found out through uh, somebody in Georgia that they were not letting crowds in. They were actually trying to turn people away. And he was like, oh no, this shit's not happening. That's election interference. Georgia is the worst. They've got the most lousiest Democrats in Georgia that cheat really, really bad. And so you're going to sit here from the Teachers Association, and you are going to have people come in there and tell them he, they could have probably fit another thousand people in that arena. So you're going to tell me that, uh, oh, we're going to turn people away because it's full and because of code. But you didn't have a code problem when it came to Kamala Harris. You know, I mean, it, it's just wicked people. Wicked. And um, what else is on the news? Mainly about the stock market, guys. <laughs> they are trying to literally crash the stock market so they can... Uh, put in the new world order, which would be one money system. It will be uh, a one world economic money system. And uh, the Antichrist is going to run that money system. He is going to be the, um, um, the head religion. He is going to be the head government of the one world economic system, the Antichrist. People will say, oh, the Antichrist is here and um, he is the proof of the existence of God. A lot of atheists that don't believe in God will actually believe in the Antichrist because they will think that he is the savior of the world. And um, they may not worship him, but they will look to him as a world leader, you know. He'll be very political, you know, and he will pop his head and all of this chaos is going on. 
he's going to solve all of it. He is going to fix it. And then there's going to be, um, you know, for a few months, there'll be some tranquil, you know, type of um, peace, you know, and he'll be like, here you go. He's going to have markings that uh, mimic Jesus, you know, and hanging on the cross to prove that he is the mark of the beast. Um, I believe that he will be, uh, the Bible says that he will be assassinated. Um, and then resurrected, um, you know, that he'll come back and then all of the people will believe that he is actually Jesus Christ. We as Christians will know that this is not him, but this is a fake, like Kamala, Camellia, <laughs> the one lady calls, him, calls her Camellia. Speaking of that, let me make sure y'all guys are recording. Uh, speaking of that, um, there's a lady that Trump had met at a restaurant, y'all, and he had her to speak at the Georgia rally, and y'all, she was on fire. She said, if you don't think Kamala Harris is a homebreaker, why don't you ask uh, Willie Brown's wife? I mean, you talk about a mic drop. That was epic. I was absolutely positively epic. I was just like, did that just happen? <laughs> First of all, she's a beautiful black lady. Second of all, she really needs to be in politics. She really does. Nathan is up. He's off today. And Boo Boo woke up at the butt crack of dawn. He's been up since the butt crack of dawn. <laughs> and so Nathan got up. And I'm going to wipe this table down. It is like funky, funky and nasty. I just, I can't handle it. It's just like gross. Of course, I did spray all that bug spray on there. And it collected every single ant in the pile. They just all crawled up together and just went. So, so sorry for you. But anyway, <laughs> oh, I don't know what's in the agenda today um i got a birthday coming up uh wednesday i will be 53 years old i am excited my auntie um is looking and getting me a brand new phone so um i don't know exactly i think it's going to be a samsung galaxy 15 um right now i have the aos version samsung and so this one will have a whole lot more internal memory. I'll be able to do a lot more better videos. And I wanted to update y'all about my ex. Um, I went ahead and applied. Um, I sent in my driver's license, my personal information. And so I, I'm officially verified now. Um, that approved over the weekend. And I am in a green status as approved verified account. On top of that, on top of that, I applied for uh, revenue. And um, it is pending. So we'll see if I get approved. I, you, you have to have, um, five, I think, 500 subscribers. I'm not quite sure the rules on the game. I have 45,000 followers. <clears throat> and that's a pretty big deal. Um, so, yeah. And I want to start doing podcasts on X. Since I do have a, you know, following of there, I want to be able to use that following. And so I said, you know, about once a week, I would do a po political podcast. And I think it'll be a lot of fun, you know. And uh, I may go live. I may just go live and do a live podcast because you get a lot more views if you go live compared to an actual video. You know what I mean? So I'd probably just sit out here on the porch and talk politics. Shit the breeze. You know what I mean? Uh, eventually, I am looking into a laptop, a really nice thin notebook that I can use, and a mic so I can do more professional podcasts on YouTube. Um... And that will be more like Christmas. You know what I mean? 
so I'll be looking at Facebook Marketplace and a couple of places and try to find a laptop. Did y'all not uh, hear about Zuckerberg? He actually called President Trump several times and formally apologized for being an asshole to Trump and basically told him that he was sorry for suppressing a lot of stuff that has happened on uh, Meta. Meta. Um, he said that uh, he is being pressured by the government to do so and said that, hey, they can take me down. They can take my platform down. And he said, I, you know, I literally have to do what the government regulates. And if I don't, uh, they'll, they'll cave me, you know. And uh, he has not come out and endorsed Trump publicly because if he did, if he did, they would ruin him. They would ruin Zuckerberg. They would literally just, they would just ruin him. And so he cannot publicly come out and endorse Trump, but I think he's going to vote for Donald Trump. I really do. Um, if one of the richest men in the United States of America, Elon Musk, if he turns to the right side, um, it wouldn't be a matter of time before Zuckerberg and uh, what do you call it, Zach, uh, is what his name from that used to formerly own Twitter. Um, even he's woke up and, uh, you know, said that Trump's not a bad guy, you know. Um, there's a video that's surfacing of um, Jesse Jackson where he really brags about Donald Trump. And President Trump really, back in the day, helped a lot of black businesses that were going under. And he was able to save those black businesses and do a lot for the, you know, entrepreneurs of the black community. And those old school people, the older generation of the jo Judge Brown, remember that Donald Trump that, you know, and uh, even, you know, Whoopi Goldberg, it showed videos of her hugging and fist bumping and, you know, loving Trump, you know, and why she has changed her views is because it's politically the thing to do because she's a liberal, you know, and all of them liked him when he was one of them. You know, he was an atheist. He was a liberal. Uh, he donated to the Hillary Clinton uh, Foundation. Um, he was one of the biggest Democrat donors of that day, especially when he had the uh, Wrestling Federation um, and he was doing The Apprentice and the different things he was doing. He was one of them, pure and simple. But when he went to the other side and turned right, then all of a sudden he says, you know, racist, he's this, that, you know, he's a homophobe, um, he's all these different labels, the fraud, you know, and so um, it is what it is. And then the last thing I think that's going on right now is uh, about Kennedy. I've been watching a lot of the Kennedy videos. He's you know, kind of in a silent majority background, but he's not so silent. He's been having a lot of um, rallies. He's been having a lot of rallies. He's been having a whole bunch of, uh, you know, meet and greets. And from what I understand, he wants to debate Trump. Now, originally Trump had had a... Trump had had a, um, uh, what do you call it, a uh, debate scheduled with Joe Biden in September, which was going to be aired on Fox News, and Kamala Harris refuses to do it. So you're going to talk about, let me let this cat in. Go on. Come on. <laughs> 
I knew that's what he was after. You got <clears throat> Kamala Harris saying, oh, Trump, meet me in my face. She won't meet him on Fox News. She refuses to meet President Trump on Fox News because she's a coward. He wanted an, uh, to be in an arena and it was going to be non-scripted and it was going to be questions with the audience. Kamala Harris cannot talk off with tel teleprompter. Just so y'all know. She cannot say anything normal on a t off the teleprompter. So she would bomb terribly. And this is why I say that countries are not going to respect her. Putin, uh, Vladimir Putin, and Xi Jinping, whatever, and uh, the uh, Kim, Kim Jong Un, you know, the world leader, uh, the leader of Japan, uh, the Iranians. Do you think they're going to respect Kamala Harris? No. You know, there's a lot of countries that don't believe that a woman ought to be a leader, much less respect her. Okay, so I, I just, honestly, I don't see it. Let me just make sure what you're recording here. Oh, we're doing good. 21 minutes. I just don't, honestly, I don't see it. I don't see her getting respected at all. Um... But we're going to see how the economy goes. We're going to see what this, you know, how it, you know, affects everyone. How it, um, today, the stock market is open. Um, I haven't checked the numbers yet, but I don't think it's looking good. Um, it's going to be hard to recover unless there's some really good investments, you know. And it's being done strategic, strategically strategically on purpose they are trying to cave the dollar globally so they can put in the one world one world money system you think to yourself oh jenny you're just being this and that and the other prove me wrong why is it happening around the world why are all the major countries in a recession right now why do we not have competent leaders why? Why do we not have competent leaders can actually budget? You expect us as American citizens to keep a budget. So why can't world leaders keep it? Oh, this is all Donald Trump's fault. Okay, you're going to tell me 50 years of politics. Trump was only in office for four years. He spent more money than any other president. Duh, we had COVID, you dumbasses. You passed a freaking bill for, you know, trillions of dollars on COVID. You're stupid as fuck. I mean, seriously. You're going to sit there and blame the president for a world, a world pandemic. And y'all shut the jobs down. Now, see, I let that cat out. Look at it. Look at that. <laughs> I swear. That cat is something else. You know, I hate to use bad language. I really do. But sometimes they really aggravate the crap out of me. Nancy Pelosi wants to put Joe Biden on Rush, uh, Mount Ru replace Teddy Roosevelt and put uh, Joe Biden up there. Lord have mercy. I would literally see somebody. I don't know. I ain't going to say it. <laughs> you know what I'm thinking. <laughs> the first redneck that comes up there and sees Joe Biden's face sitting there on Mount Rushmore, but they would do that. <laughs> I don't think it would last very long. I'm just, just saying. Um, you could put him on a line of the worst presidents in the world and uh, that our economy is in a terrible recession and uh, there's no jobs. America can't take care of the millions of people that are in the economy. 
and um, black Americans are finding out that illegals are getting $5,000 a month. They're literally getting their restitution. I mean, you know, come on. Well, we need to be more humanitarian. What would Jesus do? Um, even heaven has borders. Just saying. I mean, Jesus has compassion for the poor and he has compassion for the sick. And America is the most compassionate country on the planet Earth. And we are globally the most compassionate country on the Earth, planet Earth. That is why, why so many people want to come here. And, uh, you know, uh, usually people seek asylum uh, from devastation and from wars and things going on in their country. And America is supposed to be the go-to country, but there's a legal process for everything that you do. And financially, we cannot afford to take care of more people. We just can't. You know, we have no economy stimulated enough to be able to take care of anybody. You can't take care, even take care of the people that are here that are American citizens. And now they're trying to get them to where illegals can vote. Non-citizens. They are trying to fight for the right to vote. They don't have any rights. Not in this country as far as being Americans. No. There's my boo-boo. <laughs> hey, Andrew. Hey, Andrew. Memo's baby. Him so handsome, ain't he, guys? <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, and I know certain people will twist what I just said about the rights thing. I'm not saying that people don't have rights. They do. But they should not be above American citizens. So, don't fucking twist what I say in my words. I'm in the mood this morning. I hadn't had my coffee. So, it's a little rated R. Excuse de moi. But, you know, um, when you're sitting there putting veterans who fought for our country out on the streets and then putting these illegals in brand new apartment complexes and giving them $5,000 a month, unlimited food stamps, uh, cell phones. Yeah, it's bullshit. Bullshit. And people are tired of it. Look at here. I just let his butt in. Y'all seen that? I just let that cat in. And now he's begging to go out. He's staring me down. He's just like, I'm going to stare you down till you let me out again. <laughs> what? trying to stare me out. It's so funny. <laughs> but anyhow, I, you know, I don't know what to say, guys. I really don't. But we as Christians are not supposed to worry about what's going on. Oh, Jenny, you're a Christian. You're not supposed to use this bad language. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Even Jesus got mad and turned over the temple uh, tables in the temple when they were selling in the temple. Everybody gets mad. You know, please. I don't even want to hear it. Um, but either way it goes, we're not supposed to worry. We're not supposed to fret over the things that are going on in this country. We're supposed to turn our eyes up, look up for the heavens, and look for the return of Jesus Christ. Until then, 
we have to do as Christians what we have to do and be diligent and stay prayed up. That's ba basically the thing that I would tell people. Pray. <clears throat> if you get scared and you, you're starting to stress and you're watching the news all the time, turn it off. Turn it off. Go and garden. Do something and get away from social media. Because it can become very toxic. You know what I mean? And if you're a person that has anxiety and can't handle a lot, I would definitely recommend you turning off social media, Facebook, you know, Instagram. Uh, turn it all off and pull away from it because it can get toxic. You know? But to that note, I'm going to let you guys go. Have a great rest of your afternoon. Um, and hopefully you stay happy, blessed, and safe, and I will see you on the next video tomorrow. Bye, guys.